Hi guys! If we haven't met yet, my name is Miss Jenny and I am one of the teachers at Keystone Church. I am so excited that I get to spend another Sunday with you in your home with your family learning and talking about Jesus. All month long, we are learning about how much God loves us. We're gonna look at all the different ways he shows his love for us and even hear real stories about people that God used to show how much he loves all of us. All right, there's one thing I wanna know. Did anybody memorize their memory verse this week? If you did, I wanna give you an air high five. Congratulations, I'm so proud of you. Let's say it all together. Nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love. Romans 8, 39. Today we're gonna to look at a story that is in the Bible about a father and a son. And this son makes some very, very bad choices. And when he comes back to his father, his father takes him in and loves him so much, no matter what, and takes care of him, even though he made these bad choices. And just like the father in this story, our Father God loves us the same way. There is nothing you can ever, ever do that will take God's love from you. God loves us the same way, no matter what. Let's check out the story. Who? Who? Know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have. And as you can see, I'm cleaning up. I should be selling lemonade in the best lemonade stand with the lemoniest lemonade around. But as you can see, our lemonade stand is missing the most important thing, the lemonade. It all started a few minutes ago when Poppy and I were getting set up. Poppy, watch out! Ah! The good news is Poppy's okay. The bad news is she spilled all the lemonade on me! I feel kind of mad, a little sad, and a little bit frustrated. We've been working so hard! Now what are we supposed to do? Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Kai. Who? Who? What's got you feeling so blue? Hi, Ollie. Poppy tripped and spilled all the lemonade on me. Now we don't have any lemonade. Kai, that is hard, it's true. I've got the perfect story for you. Just listen up, just follow me through. Hoo, hoo. Follow me through, follow me through, hoo. Always got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hi friends, I'm Justin the Mailman. Look at this postcard a father is sending to his son. It's got a big heart and it says, I love you. Aw, isn't that sweet? It reminds me of a story. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible is actually a story that Jesus told so we would know that God loves us no matter what. It's about a father and a son. One day, the son asked his dad if he could have a lot of money that his dad was saving for him to have when he was much older. The dad gave him the money. The son took the money and went far away. He spent his money on everything. He bought clothes and toys and fancy food. He kept spending his money until it was all gone. Everyone say, uh-oh, 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh is right. All his money was gone, and he was all alone. He didn't have a house or money or food. In fact, at one point, he even wanted to eat pig's food. Ugh. The son knew he had made bad choices, and he was very sorry. He wanted to go back to his dad and tell him how sorry he was. He decided to go back home. When his dad saw him coming, his dad ran down the road to hug him. His dad forgave him. He loved him. Nothing could ever change that. And do you know what? God loves you the same way the father in the story loved his son. God will never, ever, ever stop loving you. He loves you no matter what. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. God loves you no matter what. So we can love each other, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, what a great story. We are so special to God that he loves us no matter what. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good. You know what? I can still love Pop even though she spilled the lemonade. We can always make more. I'm gonna go check on her now. See you guys next time, goodbye. Okay, now we're gonna say our ending prayer and you guys can go and play and have fun with your family the rest of the day. Father God, I thank you for every child watching this video, Lord. I thank you that their hearts are so sweet and so kind. I ask that you help them to make the right decisions as they go through their week, Lord. Help us to love everybody the way you love us. I thank you that you love us, and I thank you for every child that is watching this video, Lord. I pray that they follow you all the days of their lives. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, I hope you have a great week, and I will see you next week. Bye!